What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Today, we're going to fix a problem that has been around for a long time. In the past, when I turned this off with the switch, this stayed on, that stayed on, that stayed on. Everything didn't turn off. But today, that all changes. Let's check it out. So this is so commonplace uh, in the modded RK One Up commun community that we don't even think of it as being unusual or something we even worry about or something we we, we don't even think about. It. When we when we had our unmodded cabinet, when we hit the off switch, it turned the device off. It turned off the marquee. It turned off everything. Then we modded our own devices, added our own marquees, and, and in my case, a coin door, and all kinds of things that take power. But when we switch this power off, the screen appears to go off, but it's not actually off, it just goes into sleep mode. But our marquee is still on. And if we take a dive inside, we would see, I can get this thing turned all the way around without jacking up some things. All right, we can see there's quite a few things that are still on. We see the light on our Raspberry Pi. We see the light to our um, coin box. We see that the marquee was still on. So hitting the switch doesn't really do what we want it to do or wish it could do. So here's a, something you can consider as a solution for this uh, challenge. It's called the ACDC Control Relay. It's by Digital Loggers, uh, IOTRelay.com. And it's just this simple uh, surge protector here. It comes with a power cord, which in our application with the arcade is probably going to be too small. But you can get up to a 50 uh, foot cable if you want. I have these cables all over the place. So um, it's just a standard computer cord. So, so it works quite simple. The only thing that comes with it, it comes in this box. This is the only thing that comes in a box. And it, they have this cable in the package as well, but, but it's not in the actual box. So it comes with that real small uh, cable. And what you do, let's just get a little closer to this thing. It's real simple. There's a always on plug. So this is your source that, well, you don't want this thing to turn the power on off because you're going to turn it off another, another way. Uh, this is normally on, and so that means when the trigger is uh, switched, 
this is normally on, it's going to go off. These two are normally off, and so when the trigger is received, uh, the switch is received, it's going to turn those to on. And then you have a, a off and a reset button. So, so flicking this on and off doesn't change the, the, the condition of these outlets, uh, other than the always on, obviously. Um, so when that's on, you'll have a light. Let me just turn it off. Sorry. These two are automatically powered when you turn this switch on. These two are off. You need to trigger it in order for these two to come on and this one to go off. So all you need, it, so it comes with this little green insert. And this green insert just plugs in here. There's a plus and a minus symbol here. And this you can just make by just finding any USB cable and cutting it. So I can show you that a little bit later. So let's just look at So let us look at our example right now. So this is my computer. That's to the Mac. That's always on. This switch is always, is normally on, and these two are normally off. But you see I have that green light. So that green light, can you see that green light? See there? That green light means the switch is on. That means it's been triggered by the USB cord that's plugged into that piece there. Okay? That makes sense? So I'll just show you real quick that is it's based on a trigger. All right. So this is this monitor is plugged into the normally on. You can see as I'm hitting the power button, it's not coming on because this is off now because the switch is on. This uh, core is going to this light. And you'll see when I when I unplug. So I'm just gonna unplug this. You see that? Light. The light went off and the computer screen came on. Because that, that's normally on. Now I'm not sure in our application with the arcade whether we would use that all normally on where it would be on when the arcade is off and then off when the arcade is on. So that plug most likely is not going to be used unless you have some type of ambience LEDs that you have on just normally when the arcade is not in use and then when you turn it on it goes off so that's up to you but that's under normal circumstances that normally on wouldn't be used in our application okay we would be interested in the two that are normally off so if we plug this back in then you see it immediately switches. It switched my monitor off. That was normally on, but now it's off. Those two were normally off. And now, you know, it's bright light, which you can see clear. That went off. So, that USB cable is plugged into the back of this iMac. But it's just plugged right into the back of the iMac. Able to follow. Okay, man. All right. So that cable is plugged right into the back of the Mac. Okay. So it's getting power or signal from that Mac. So if I go to my Mac and do a shutdown. Sure you want to shut down? Say yes. The light should go off once it no longer receives power and that monitor should come on. There you go. See there? So the monitor came on and the light went off. Okay? So again, in our application, we wouldn't need that monitor that, that plug that has that in. So, if this plug 
was in this other switch instead. Monitor's off. The light's off. If I hit the switch on the back of the iMac, you see that instantly. The light came on and that monitor that came on with the with me powering up that iMac. So now you know how it works. So the only thing that you have to add to this mix, to this solution, is the cable. So all you need is a small screwdriver to be able to uh, screw those wires in and you need some way to cut the cable so you need a, a wire cutter and a screwdriver that's all you need all USB cables aren't created equal so this is a printer or a peripheral cable this is a mouse cable so they both have the USB and that we need right but look how much thinner this mouse cable is on the left than the peripheral cable so while you could use this it's going to give you much skinnier wires to work with to plug into your your piece and what I do with it so normally when you when you pull this out the box this piece will be plugged into there like that okay and you just pull it out and hook your wires up so we'll just leave it in there for now so i don't misplace it so again we want this cable to be removed from anything and we want to save this end not this end and and you can cut it anywhere along the course but you know depending on where your your pie is going to be located in relationship to the um, the, the relay switch, you want to have some length on it because you can always bundle it up, right? So you don't want it to be too short. So we're just going to cut this. And we can cut this with scissors or whatever. It don't really matter. Uh, I don't know if I have a thick enough scissors to cut this. You can cut it with a box knife or whatever. So I'm just going to make sure I got the, got the right end I'm cutting off and see if I can get this these scissors to cut yeah yeah no problem all right so this piece is trash we don't need that so you got a lot of installation and four wires in here so you need a wire stripper something like this a wire uh, stripper or wire cutter all right so I'm just gonna give myself a little room to work with here so I'm just gonna put that in at the biggest piece and I'm going to tighten it up and then just spin it. All right. Let's tighten it up a little more. Just spin it to it. And then I'll just pull it out. Okay. So now I have all this installation and I have four wires. You see that? I'll put it against the... I have a black one, a green one, a red one, and a white one. Let me get behind it so I can see that you can see. All right, so you got four wires, black, green, red, and white. The, 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 the black one is ground, green is data, red is power, and white is data. So the, the green and the white one are power. We don't need those two. You can just bend those out of the way. You can cut them off. All this other stuff we're, we're going to cut off. So we're just going to make sure we keep our black and our red one. The red one is power, the black one is ground. Okay. So we'll just cut these guys off. Make sure we don't cut anything that we don't want to lose. If we mess up with this, this wire is long enough that we can just simply cut it again at another point and try it again. So no big deal. All right. So now that we have our black and red, we're going to use our wire stripper and just... Hmm. 
I've, I've been in IT all my life, and I ain't, I've never really had to strip any wires and do all that stuff. That's not my cup of tea. All right. So we got two. Can you see that? Just expose the wire on these two pieces. All right. Then we just get our... whatever you want to call this thing. And this is not marked in any kind of way, um, but the actual unit is marked with a plus and a minus. So red is power, black is ground. So this inserts straight in. So we're going to insert it with the red on the left. And we can twist this in just so it's not frayed. Now, I have had this, these units for, uh, I think today is the one year anniversary of these things sitting in a box. Order them from Amazon, link is in the description. And I just, you know, I didn't know what to do. And there's not much information on the web as is always the case. This, these are one of those type of devices that you either already know what to do with them or you don't, okay? So we just insert that in there and take our screwdriver. And so you'll find, you know, a few um, videos that just sh telling you about it because you already know what a relay is and you already know what to do with it. So here's what you do. And then you have them with other applications that... Uh, doesn't really fit our application. And the other thing is, this is the version two of this because the, the previous one didn't have a always on uh, plug. Everything was switched. So it was either turning something on or turning something off from the actual switch. So the application was a little different than what we needed. All right, so now that we have our plug, we just need to plug that into something that all right, so now we have a cable that is working. You see the lights being triggered. So this relay is working. All right, so let's put this into our arcade. Okay, so in this scenario, we have two power strips in here because we just have so many things to plug in. And so, this plug, let me turn it off first. Uh, the Pi is off, but the power is not off to everything else. All right, so now the power is off to everything else. This, this power strip that was Velcroed on is not needed anymore. And so I have two things that were plugged in. They're both going to be on the normally off. Uh, later, but our Pi power cord is right here. here. Oh, look at this wires. This is a mess. I don't know which which is which. I'm going to tie down. This is quite a challenge. And remember, I have my other light that's behind here. I need some extra light. That's uh pretty handy thing to have just battery operated I have a video I'll pop up now for you go and check that out uh, so I just have to locate this guy so I'm gonna unplug this for now I think that'll make that easier to snake it through everything because we want to make sure we get the right cable this is here So this is our power. So we want this to be on the always on. And I have some little challenge with the way this thing is situated, the way this cord is angled. So we'll put this in first. 
Are you in camera? Nope. I'm gonna take that out of here, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna put whatever this is. Oh, this is for my marquee. I'm gonna plug that directly into the power strip over here, if I can. Now that, uh, put it right where the pie was. All right, so now, that just leaves this one. I only use one of the normally on slots. All right. And we just need a power cord. So I'm going to not use the small cable they gave me. And I'm going to use a much longer one so that I can reach my smart plug, my smart outlet. All right, so this will plug into here. Just lost something. I just lost something. Houston, we have a problem. This thing just unplugged from something. Ah, oh, where'd that come from? Oh, right here. No, that's not. That's our pod. Where'd this... Oh, that just unplugged from the thing that I just... Well, that's over here. All right, gotta make sure we get these cables right. All right, so let's get this back in. All right. So, we have our power to the Pi, and the always on, and our power to the power strip on the normally off. So I'm going to plug my Pi back, power back in. And my back is killing me from this position. Oh, goodness. I don't know what you can see and what you can't see. I'm trying to get to that pie. Can't forget this core because that's what the trigger is. All right, so this is gonna go into an open slot on the pie. Now, right now I have my two USB encoders and uh, I'm not sure what the other thing is. Maybe the power to my keyboard. I don't know what the other one is offhand, but I have an open slot. Oh, that goes to my, no, I don't know what that goes to. All right. Anyway, all right, so I just plug that into the Pi and now I'm going to plug this cable into the relay. Should have pulled this thing up, have more room to work with. Alright. I'm gonna plug that straight in. Alright. Now nothing came on, but we see the light. It's kind of hard to see down there. We can see the light, that green light. That means it's triggers, but I have my power strip off so I can turn this on. Now that'll turn on, you see the light came on, my our key came on, you guys gonna and me or what? the pie is coming on. Like Alright, so let's just turn this guy back around. So before, if the power was restored to this cabinet and the switch was turned to off this light would be still be on so now everything's dark and I can just flick the switch and that powers up everything that has power the coin door the trackball the uh, lit marquee as well as the speaker it's on top. So the relay works from that standpoint. Now, I did have an issue with the second relay. I don't know what to do with the cable now. But the little green piece that plugs into... Oh boy, I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, that green piece wouldn't stay in. It was like wiggled. 
And so they're going to ship me out a new one so I can get that one into the Street Fighter. Now, the only caveat with this whole thing is, for some reason, the off switch is not going off on a single switch. So if I go to off, it doesn't turn off. But if I go off on off, then it goes off. Which still is not bad because it turns off everything. You see that everything turns off instantly. The marquee, the trackball, the coin door, the speaker. There's no power to anything now but to the Pi. Raspberry Pi is off, but not quite off. It's still a little red light on, so that's, that's because that script puts in some type of it and not actually off but if I turn this on then everything will come on at once Close the speaker so this relay is definitely a solution with a with a minor issue no, I'm curious here. Well, yeah, even if I even if I killed it off with with Google, it still would be formed the same way. Hey Google, turn the arcade off. Hey Google. Okay, sure. Okay. So this is off. Let's turn that on. And you saw it flash, even though it's off. Hey Google, turn the arcade on. Sure, turning the arcade on. Now see, that's the curious thing. Okay, okay, so that did. It just had a little longer delay than it normally would. So it's firing everything back on. So that brings up another concern. So now we have a solution to turn everything off. But that pie is still technically on. And in some type of boot loop. And so that's going to have to be the next issue. And there's, there's someone... I saw with a solution to that, but I can't recall it offhand, but uh, I'll put the link in the description. We'll have to do that next to eliminate the power being on at all. So I don't know, understand why that, I've never hit the switch and not go off or on prior to just adding this, this solution here. So that's strange. Turn it on. You heard it click. It has a pretty audible click when it actually is triggered. But why it is acting erratically, that is something new because it's never done that. It's always just switched off when you said off and on when you switched on. Why don't we just stay in here all day? We'll chill. Let him tire himself up. I'm staying here all day. You know, I'm, 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 I'm going to go after him. Go get him, Jack Bauer. Uh, I thought I had him trapped heat when he does that. You guys gonna chase me or what? Private practice starts in like 15 minutes. Ooh, you watch private practice too? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, am I 100% confident with this, the current shutdown, turn on script? No. So that's gotta be resolved. But we did get the a solution for when that power is actually shut down, all the other power goes off with it. So all I can say at this point in time is to be continued. Hey guys, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, the like button, comment below. Um, try to turn this off one more time. Look at that, it's always been instant off. And now there's no instant off. That's bizarre.
how does it, it, it can't be the relay the relay because the re relay is not adding anything to this equation this is a this is a brain twister so you see I put down off but it's refusing to go off but if I flick back and flick off then I'll go I've never had to do that never so it is working the way it is technically working but not a hundred percent the way it should be and let's see if we can turn it back on is that instant that's instant but for some reason the off is sporadic uh, need a double flick so I'll have to investigate that all right guys to be continued until next time I'll see you on the web